Hi, thank you for joining Lisa Marvin Art. Um, I'm having a bit of a off painting day, so I thought I'd try something that I did before that was really amazing with the hair dryer, and I blew it out on a bigger canvas and there was lots of cells, and I'm not sure if it's gonna work as usual, especially because I ran out of my normal supply. So normally for my pouring medium, I'd use uh, Watco lacquer. I'm not sure if you can get it in the States, but I get it at uh, Home Depot in Canada. Two parts Watco lacquer, and usually I use one part Joe Sonia polyurethane. Um, it's water-based, and that's what helps the cells happen. However, I ran out of this. So what I've done is I've used the Watco uh, and then I usually use polyacrylic gloss. I didn't have any and I accidentally got this satin. So I tried one part satin to one part triple thick varathane. And this is the kind of the same thing as the Josonia, but it's a little thicker, so the polyacrylic thins it out. So that's my pouring medium. And for my pillow paint, I'm going to use uh, Glidden semi gloss because it's pretty thin, uh, thinner than other paints. And when I blow it out, I want it to be able to blow, so we'll see if that works. And um, the colors I'm using today. Oh, so I had a client who wanted me to create a nebula uh, looking situation, which also isn't the easiest thing, but let's see. So I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm gonna use all these colors in the actual pour, we'll see, but I have permanent red violet. Um, I'm using one of my favorite colors, Cad Red Light. Now these two colors are opaque. I did a video about opaque versus transparent before. Um, so I'm going to make sure not to use them too close together when I lay them. I'm not sure how I'm going to lay them first, but um, cause they just will cover each other and not really show through. To continue, I have permanent blue violet Amsterdam. Um, here we have ultramarine. And I have Prussian phthalo blue, which is really pretty. And finally, quinacridone crimson. My cell activator, my magic sauce, is Australian Floatrol, which is different than North American Floatrol. When you use this for your cell activator, you have to really be a good scientist and add a lot of more um, supplies like glue, um, some wood conditioner, and even then it's harder to get cells. With this, I just did four parts Floetrol to one part Payne's Gray, and you want it to drip nicely down. The consistency of my paints are a little thicker. They still drip, but when you put them in a circle, it takes a second for them to fall. You want your pillow paint <clears throat> to be a little thicker than your colored paints and your colored paints a little thicker than your cell activator. So I'm going to get my pillow paint down and everybody, as always, please wish me luck. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, so I've laid my pillow paint down. Um, what color do I want to start with? Hmm. Why don't we start with a bit of purple? And I wonder, maybe I'll do some, a, a circle in the middle. For funsies, we'll see what happens. Um, okay, I'll do the blue next. Should I do the blue next? No, I'm going to do the light blue to give it a bit of con contrast. Okay. Then I will do my favorite Cad Red Light. Okay. 
All right, now, why don't I do a touch of purple? Okay, let's do some pinks. And I left over the two most <clears throat> similar colors by accident. So I'm gonna go with the um, magenta all the way on top here. Okay, now you can see my circles migrating. So let me just bring it back to the middle here. I'm going to use my heat gun. Um, I couldn't find, oops, okay, hold on, no, 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 okay. I couldn't find uh, my regular attachment, which is a bit bigger, so this is smaller. So we don't know, okay, my heat gun's very excited. We don't know what's gonna happen. Um, let's see, here's my cell activator. How am I gonna do it? Because this circle's gotten pretty big. Um, why don't I do uh, a what do I do? Good question. Um, I don't know. <laughs> why don't I do different circles? See how that goes. I'll do three. All right, because we're pretty adventurous people. Okay, so now, here we go. Okay, I don't want to blow it too much. I'm going to go back in, oops, with my mouth here. I'm just trying to get rid of the black because I don't want it too thick. And then I'm going to blow on these colors to kind of mix them out a little bit. Uh, English, mix them up a little better. Okay, um, looking good. What do you think? Okay, I don't want this to go over. Um, it's a nice looking line. I wish I was a good tilter. You know what, let me just wait till it, I'm hoping that um, it won't stick to the bottom there. There's some really interesting cells happening. I almost don't even want to touch it. Hmm, I don't know. It's really cool. But I should probably touch it a little bit. Okay, let's um, bring it a little bit this way. Stretch out everybody. I'm just slowly trying to, I think this part's gonna be stuck. So it's when I spin it, it's going to um, get a little distorted. But it's moving. Okay. I'm going to spin it gently and just go slow and steady. What do we think? Uh, okay. 
Oh, there's things in the way here. I don't want to spin it too much because I'm scared I'll lose all the good stuff that I want. You know what? I'm going to bring it slowly. I'm going to bring this over a little bit. Is it working? Are you moving? Come on. Let's go. We're not really moving where I want it to go. All right, I'm gonna spin her again. Ready? All right. This is kind of cool. You know what? I don't even wanna to touch it. I really like, oh, there's sneakers again. I really am liking the negative. Okay, hold on, I have to get sneakers. I'm really liking the negative space. Um, so I think I'm going to leave it. Let me see where it is because it's kind of cool. All right, we're going to leave her where she is. If I, I'm going to take a picture of it. If I change my mind, I can spin it some more. And I might spin it a little bit more, but for now... I'm happy. This is the direction I like it. Um, I hope you liked it too. And uh, thank you for joining me. You've made my day much better. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye.